Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day. Between the heat, humidity, and an environment that causes allergies, something as simple as breathing can be difficult in Houston. Most people might go to an ear, nose, and throat specialist for relief, but you might need to visit your orthodontist instead. Narrow jaw bones can lead to difficulty breathing, but our first guest offers a minimally invasive procedure that can produce effects immediately and can have other benefits as well. He's also the inventor behind the technology for the procedure. Dr. Well Kanan with Eye Smile Special joins me along with his patient, Isabella Cardenas, who is now breathing better than ever. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of dentists out there, but what a lot of us don't realize is that you have uh, different specialties. One of the things for you is that you are in uh, a master's degree in dentistry research. So you're looking at all the different ways and the best technology to uh, take care of any issues we might have. Correct. And you've actually invented some of those things as we mentioned uh, just a second ago. All right, when it comes to breathing, thank goodness, uh, when the nose is not participating, <laughs> the mouth can, but if you're breathing through your mouth, that's not normal. What are the, the reasons why breathing through the nose would be much better? Of course, see, God created the nose where it has a filter. So when we breathe the air through the nose, the, the air would be cleaned, pollen would be filtered. If you breathe from your mouth, that uh, air will bypass that filtration and pollens will go through your uh, lungs. So if you have like sensitivity toward certain pollens, it will be exaggerated and all these things. Number two, if you breathe from your mouth, just watch it. I open my mouth and these muscles will push inward. Yeah. What's gonna happen? You narrow, uh, yes, more narrow. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The jaw will get narrower, your teeth will get crooked. And the problem is your tongue will have no room to stay in the mouth. So the tongue will go down and forward. This will cause anterior open bite then you will have speech problems. And as you uh, uh, sleep, talk with your mouth open, your mouth will get dry. And when your mouth risk. gets dry, the increased risk of cavities exactly. and things like that. Exactly. And then of course, um, this sounds like it'd be even more problematic if you're looking at a child who is doing this because their face and stuff is still growing, right? So here's a problem. That's the biggest problematic side effect. As your mouth was open, the muscles would push inward, the mouth will get narrow, and the nose will get narrow. And I got a sample here for one patient, like you can see mm -hmm. how narrow her jaw was. And then if you don't fix it early, she will live the rest of her life like that. Yeah, and also if you don't fix it early, if, if new teeth are coming in, they have nowhere to go. Oftentimes exactly. those are the kids that you yes. see that need to have yes. like six teeth pulled, exactly. uh, and they're not singing like, like Freddie Mercury who had extra teeth and uh, had a great voice. That's a whole nother story there. But anyway, okay, so the narrow jaw can cause all kinds of problems. The crooked, crooked teeth, mm -hmm. the open bite, uh, speaking difficulties as you mentioned. And then you want to break that cycle of mouth breathing. Uh, so you have this thing called the MSE treatment, non-invasive option for fixing the narrow jaw, how Correct. does that work? So usually in the past, this is not something new, it's been in the, in the literature for a long time where we have expanders, but these expanders used to be not anchored to the bone of the nose. So a few years ago, we thought if we wanna get the expansion more efficient, why don't we add some tags? So we added some small screws, the very small screws, you can see it, Yeah. and this will attach the expander to the bone and the initial thought was to expand the jaw and make it more efficient. But all of a sudden we realized that patient used to call us, hey, Dr. Kanan, yesterday I hear a crack in my nose and that's the first time I hear, I feel fresh air going through my nose. Wow. And I was thinking, you know, patient after patient after patient, and we realized that over the time that patients are not only getting the benefit from expanding the jaw, but also the nose is getting wider and they can breathe better. Yeah, okay, because we always think yes. it's all about right up here in the yes, nose. Yes. All right, Isabella, you originally saw um, Dr. Kanan for braces, but then they realized that you could benefit from this procedure. What were you experiencing um, symptom-wise? So the wise, it was actually pretty hard for me to breathe through my nose. I wasn't getting enough air. I, I noticed that I was breathing a lot more through my mouth. I was having a, a dry mouth sensation. Um, and my allergies were actually pretty bad. I have a really low tolerance when it comes to pollen. So it was affecting me so much more. I was having to stay in more. And as soon as I had the procedure done, like he said, I felt that pop. Yeah. And it was so much air that came through my nose. And it was like Because you were best using feeling. a CPAP machine. You were taking yes. all the allergy medications. Yes. You were doing everything to basically address the symptoms. We weren't getting rid of the problem, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay, so you, immediate relief for you. Yes, ma'am. Wow, so how has that been? It made a difference for you, just quality of life? 
Well, as far as I, I can breathe. <laughs> yeah, you can, well, how about, how about this? Deborah, I can breathe now. <laughs> oh, can, yeah, yeah, there's a lot to be said for a breath of fresh air, and you stop needing all the allergy medications. You didn't have to deal with the CPAP anymore. Correct. All right, signs that you might need this procedure. Mouth breathing, as we said. Uh, mm -hmm. Drooling is one of the things. Yes. And then sometimes I see people where they may breathe through their nose when they're conscious of it, but then when they're just like watching TV or relaxed, all of a sudden you can hear them uh -huh. just through their mouth, yes, right? Yes, yes. You can see him all, uh, like when they sleep, when they're playing, you can see him uh, watching a TV, a movie, and then once he loses, like you're conscious of the control of your mouth and tongue, you sleep or you talk with your mouth open, that's a sign that you have a problem. Yeah, and also yes. getting easily tired after running or doing exercise because exactly. you just can't get enough yes. air into yes. your lungs. You're nodding your head. Yes. Did that happen to you as a kid too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, especially since I was in athletics, it did make it a little more difficult for me to keep up with my teammates. So I was having to take a little bit more side breaks. I was like, I can't breathe. I'm thinking I have asthma, I'd go to the doctor. They're like, you don't have asthma. Um, we're not too sure what it is. And then lo and behold, it's because my um, and I was na uh, too narrow. Yeah, yeah. Now you yeah. accidentally found out about yeah, this I was because accident. again, you went for, for braces. But it's one of those things that when you know, if you have any of these symptoms, when kids go into you know someplace like I Smile, uh, d that you go ahead and check and see, and, and you all will ask those questions. Do you have any problems with this, this, and that? Because it may be something else. And you stay at the forefront of dental innovation, but you all do everything there. You offer the dental checkups. That's where oftentimes mm -hmm. we find out these situations. Mm -hmm. uh, professional teeth cleaning, which we know that's a big part of avoiding periodontal disease, keeping your teeth clean, right? And then you also offer dental implants, orthodontic treatments, and teeth whitening as well, because we know it's okay for our teeth to function well. We need them to function well first, but if they can look pretty too, that makes yeah. us even more happy. Deborah, I want right. to add, add one thing that a lot of time patients, if they have uh, breathing problems, they think about ENT or allergy. Right. And then they go with that trial. Like Which is the, what she did, yes. right? The and first then thing check they the tonsils, yeah. big tonsils, allergy. But a lot of times the width of the jaw is overlooked. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. why like, we're here to educate the public, educate Houston, that it's not only sometimes where you have allergy or the tonsils, but it might be also related to the skeleton, how you breathe, and the uh, mouth yeah. width. And then as you said too, the, the width of the jaw overlooked, and especially yes. especially in kids, as yes, they're still growing, exactly. if you can widen that, that, that mouth, they can, you know, it's easier for the, the new teeth that will come in, yes. uh, the permanent teeth to come in. Even I have patients in their 40s. Oh, wow, okay. Ladies in their 40s, if the suture has not closed, you still can open it without uh, major surgery. Okay, that's yes, a breath of yes. fresh air. Yeah. Thank you all very much. Thank you for having us. All right, iSmile has a special offer for our viewers. Call now and mention Great Day Houston for a free consultation with 3D X-ray. The number to call is 281-249-9999. Again, that's 281-249-9999. You can also visit them online at iSmileSpecialist.com.